Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest Chase character in WWE Champions and Mystery He Who Shall Not Be Named Superstar No More. We can say his name. It's Braun Strowman. Monster Bomb. We are getting a second powerhouse Braun. This one is like by default better than the first. Uh, he is an aggressive modern era powerhouse trainer ability at 21k. Yellow moves start with two more move points and multiply gems generated from moves will increase their strength by one. Links, raw, any color moves start with one more move point. Modern era gems do 5% more damage just the one standard set of gear. We're going to start with a takedown build and then I will be switching to the gem damage focus, but we're gonna start with this monster bomb finisher, 10 MP. Deal 694,318 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for two turns. Black one, the lifting arm triangle, seven MP submission generate 30 random submission gems and do 170,538 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into blast gems and black to the running power slam 8 MP deal 219,575 damage and make 10 blast gems into red gems. So we're using the blasts from the sub to load the finisher. The finisher stuns the opponent. Gonna have to hope to hit some black gems when we're destroying all those blasts, but we have a turn or two to swipe if we need it. Woods for black MP. Tech Priest for 150% to the finisher. Tech Brett, if you have him 26k, it'll be 50%. Mine is almost there, so we're getting 40 and Trick Snoop for 25% more red move damage. I did mention takedown build. I unfortunately don't have a takedown to um, 200%, so that is the regular set of takedowns. I do have one set of takedown twos, and we're using the tested loyalty plate. Whenever you break six or more red gems, increase your red move damage by 75% for two turns. Let's see what this monster bomb can hit for. Oh, why does it look like his shoulders are dislocated? That's really rough, dog. Um, we're gonna get all of this ready to go turn two, so I'm gonna take a red match. Just in case something goes horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. You go ahead and fill up your black moves, sir. Lifting arm triangle, 30 random submission gems. I'm gonna go ahead and turn a few of these into red. Oh, we got the sub back at least. That's kind of nice. So we'll be able to hit the finisher and then hit the sub and then reload. So with all of our bells and whistles, we're doing 4.4 mil on the finisher. Bat. Oh, he's going to no-sell it. He no-sold it! Damn, son. All right. Put the sub back out. Stunned for one turn, so we're not keeping a stun lock here, unfortunately. Nor are we filling the submission. So that's the risk of this build, is like there's no concrete way to get back to the the sub. You could do the um break red get black MP plate. I don't remember the name of it. It came out during the Rocky event. But that is a possibility. But it is a move damage build, so we gotta go with the plate that boosts move damage. That 
is a terrifying image. Uh, that's the takedown build. Let's switch gears here and go set up some Fury 2s. All right, let's switch focus to the gem damage. We're going to bring in the two blue moves. So this is a build available at four star. Blue one, the choke slam, 7 MP. Deal 187,927 damage and choose six gems to make into blast gems. Blue two, the reverse choke slam, 6 MP. Deal 164,861 damage and choose three gems to make into one turn countdown gems that will deal a 90,235 damage and modify a three by three random area into multiply gems of strength five. And we are running this alongside red two, which is the Beal 7 MP. Deal 187,927 damage and choose six gems to make into cross break gems. So there's a lot going on here. We got blast gems. We have countdowns that we don't want to break because we want them to trigger the multiplies. And we have cross breaks. We're going to run double blue MP here. Lawler for four and then Lex for two. And he's going to add a multiply gem strength for us. So these will be six. Bringing in Tech Cena for one more countdown gem. We are going to be using the Zed plate. Um, and bringing in Acro Ray just for an extra blast gem. The strategy here is going to be put out the countdowns um, away from where we're going to put the blast gems, blow up that part of the board, hopefully we recycle all the moves, and we just start blowing up the board and slowly stacking the damage from the Z plate. Whenever you make four or more countdown gems, increase your gem damage by 50% and reduce your opponent's gem damage by 35% for two turns. Uh, doing this with two sets of Fury 2s, so 85% gem damage bonus on the belt. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is check to make sure that you have a swipe that you can lay out your blast gems. The top looks really nice here because of all the blue and red. And then you want to make sure that you're putting your countdowns away from them because we don't want to lose them. And it's looking like if I take this swipe, you branch out and hit a good number of red and blue. Now to trigger the Titan plate, you need eight. So you would probably need to take out Lex. It would be a turn slower likely and you need to put in um, Showboat JBL. I'm gonna do that because I'm assuming he's gonna match that and then put his power gems on loot boxes. And then take a swipe. Everything is charged. Oh, that's rude. All right, we only lost one. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Multi gems go out and we have a nice swipe here. Uh, so we're going to put out the cross breaks. Mm, that's going to go blap, 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 blap. Let's just go blap, blap. So this, like, like I said, there's a lot of different gems here. There's a lot going on. We only need that one blast gem, though. I think. Or I don't know how to do math. Or I don't know how to place gems. I did it! Okay, so 4.2. Um, this set is messy and chaotic, but it, if you need to clear the board a bunch, um, not horrible. You could do a Seamus crown plate for the cross breaks, so it would give you more red gem damage. You could do the Titan plate without Lex. You would need another trainer, uh, but just wanted to show kind of a, a funky little, here's a bunch of specialty gems that we can make work together. Um, that said, let's go look at the five star move. Next build we're going to take a look at is triple red. So the monster bomb, 
big finisher damage, the Beal, choose six to make into cross breaks, and the five star move, the Yokosuka Cutter, seven MP, deal 207,537 damage, and increase the damage of all of your gems by 231%. For one turn. I repeat, increase the damage of all of your gems by 231% for one turn. Doesn't affect bonus damage, doesn't matter, still beefy. Big, strong monster bomb. Uh, loadout for this, loadout, entourage, whatever. Save your loadouts, it's so much easier, I promise you. Butch for red MP, Piper Niven, I know y'all got her. Um, at 26, it'll be 40%. As it stands, I have her at 21. So 30% more damage to the red gems plus the two red MP. Zombie Cena for an extra cross break just so we can hopefully destroy the entire board. And Santa Hogan. Not that it's going to make a big difference, but, you know, whatever. A uh, full Fury set here. And we're going to use the Viper Strike pl Plate. Whenever you break three or more black gems, make seven yellow into red at the end of your turn. That is hopefully going to help us in blowing up the board if we don't have enough red gems to fill the finisher. Hopefully by hitting some black gems, we can get some more red after the fact. Um, and those are going to be big, big damage red gems. Might want to do the Seamus crown. It, I don't know if you're going to need to recycle this. Probably not. You might want to do the Seamus crown. So whatever. Let's just do it. Um, okay. 40k to the red gems. Okay. 132 to the red gems. Um, also 96 and 79 to his three main colors. Choose seven to make into cross breaks. We're just gonna do this. And then we're going to do this. All right. 4.9. And he didn't kick out. Which is totally fine. I don't need to run that again. That's really straightforward. Set up your cross breaks to make a match that blows up the entire board. Lather, rinse, repeat. Let's go take a look at something else. Going to run the five star move with the lifting arm triangle and the running power slam now. So generate random submission gems that turn into blast, make blast into red, um, boost all your gem damage by 231%. We are doing double MP trainers with this because of my tour perks. This is going to be ready to go on turn two. Um, so woods for black, butch for red, and then I'm bringing in Hall of Fame Lita and Zombie Bianca because I want to turn as many of these blast gems as possible into red ones. So we're getting five more red gems from that. And the reason for that is because we're using the Gremlins Ears Plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your red and blue gem damage by 100% for two turns. So... Boosting our primary color a significant amount, plus boosting all of our gems. Might as well turn as many of these blasts into the primary color along with it. So, yeah, ready to go on turn two. That's totally fine. It's totally fine. Uh, I don't really have a defensive swipe here either, so... Go ahead and put out your power gems. You get to use them once. Okay, maybe twice. Uh, so we're starting at 33k on the red gems. Now they're up to 50. And now they are up to 168. I'm going to turn 15 Blast Gems into red. So, 5 mil. He's going to no-sell the F out of this. Yeesh. But, fatal error. 
he gave us a black match. So again, in terms of trying to refill the black gems, there are some ultimate plates that came out in the Rocky event. I don't have any of the ultimate ones. I think there was some that it was like, if you break black, you put out red, or you break red, you put out black, something along those lines. That would be ideal here. That would be ideal here. That would definitely help him chuck some more gems out after the fact. And you could still use a plate to boost the sub. So, might look into that a little bit. But, we got another stack or two. That is 8.2 before the armor. And that's definitely another build that you could stack damage with, of course. One more build I would like to take a look at. Let's go see what he's got at six star. Last build I'm going to take a look at is triple black. And no, we are not using a drip plate. The no drip light is on. Uh, so the lifting arm triangle, random submission gems, leaving behind blast gems. The running power slam, make blast into red. And then the monster express. Womp, womp, the big diesel. Um... I love Shaquille O'Neal, by the way. 8 MP deal, 213,641 damage plus 62,940 bonus damage for every blast gem. Entourage for this, we are going to be showcasing Shotzi's training ability. Uh, should have had a feeling when I did her preview that she would train Brawn, didn't even think of it, immediately went to the free-to-play side of things. Um... She's definitely still good for Ridge, though. Like, don't, don't, don't misunderstand me. That like, she's going to make him very, very strong, like he wasn't already. Uh, but blast gems do seventy-five percent more damage, and black moves start with two more move points. Running this alongside Woods for black MP, Typhoon for red and blast gem damage, and Trickster Sammy for fifty percent more damage to our blast gems. For the belt, Fury 2s and the Hulk Maniac plate. Whenever you break 20 or more gems, increase your red gem damage by 200% and your black move damage by 300% for two turns. I did some investigating, and there is, in fact, an ultimate plate where when you break four or more red gems... Generate 10 random black gems at the end of your turn. It is called I Pity the Fool. It came out during the Rocky event. That, in my humble content creator opinion, and again, it's an opinion, it's not law, uh, but in my opinion, that is what he needs to be tippity top tier. I feel like that would help a lot of his issues. As it stands, he doesn't have a concrete way to make black gems. So using the I Pity the Fool ultimate plate, where might we be able to get those? I have no idea. Uh, but it does exist. So hopefully they throw that out in like offers or a prize wall or something this month because I feel like he really needs it. Anyways, let's see what this blast gem damage does. All right, so submission gems going out. So, 35 to the reds, 61 on the blast, 157,350 bonus damage for every blast gem. Womp womp. That's 3.4 mil. Uh, if you want to use co-owner flare and make that a one-turn sub and leave closer to actually 30 out there, it's not a bad idea. Uh, make 10 random blasts into red. I fear we're not recycling the blacks on this. Oh, we got the sub. A pleasant surprise. But that ho uh, triggered the Hogan plate. 70k on the reds. That puts our move damage up to about a, a mil, just about. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the sub again, and then we'll just swipe next turn, since the black moves aren't entirely ready. And that should go blah, 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 blah. There we go. 
We refilled the sub! Yay! Okay, so Hogan Plate, 104k. Probably gonna lose a stack here, which is totally fine. He didn't pin us, which is nice. Uh, so 1.5 mil on the move damage now. Bap. And 104,000 on the red gems. Don't know what the red blast gems are doing. It's gonna move very, very fast. Let's just do this. Bap. Okay, what's it gonna be? Yeah, hell if I could see that. Okay. What it is gonna be is over. It's over. All right, let's wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Braun Strowman Monster Bomb. Again, an aggressive powerhouse, modern era, trainer ability at 21K, yellow moves start with two more move points, and multiply gems generated from moves will increase their strength by one. Links raw, any color moves start with one more move point. Modern era gems do 5% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. Uh, lots of different plate options for him. NWO plate, Zed plate, Titan plate, Seamus plate, Viper strike, Gremlin's ears, Hogan plate. Um, like I said in that last build, I do feel like he needs that side plate, the I pity the fool one, whenever you break red, generate random black gems. To me, that is really the only thing he's missing here is a concrete way to get back to the black moves. Maybe it's seven star. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, very strong, very viable. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. How would you run him? Like I said, lots of different things you could do with this man. Very curious to hear what you think. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Wah! Deep in the